This is about to be a mission. I'm about to wash my hair from straight to curly. I'm excited because this is my third week, which is like, I straightened my hair December 9th, then right now it's December 29th. So it's actually 20 days that I've had this, it's almost three weeks. This is how I prep my hair to wash my hair. So there's a prep before you straighten your hair, in the middle and after. It's really important to keep your hair healthy, to prevent damage, all of that with heat protectant, obviously. I only touched my hair with the straightener three times to straighten it, to curl it, to straighten it back so I can cut it. So if you guys don't know, I did trim my hair. I cut about this much, but my hair was so uneven. Some parts were like this, some parts were like this. So it's like, whatever. I have this thing. I put this on today. So before I wash my hair, hours. So I put this on like five hours ago. Basically what this is, is it's just an applicator and it has olive oil, coconut oil, and then amla oil. Amla oil is, I cannot find this. And basically what this does is like, it's um, Asian markets and everything like that. I use this during the pandemic. It's good for hair growth. It's very thick, so it moisturizes your hair. Coconut oil is not like the best for my hair, but I know olive oil, my hair eats it up. It's all three mixed together in here. What I do is I just put just like a little bit, not too much, and then I just kind of put it all over my hair just to prep my hair for wash. So if you have a soap press or anything like that, and you're trying to wash your hair, the best thing to do is to prep it before, middle, and after to prevent damage, not putting it, reapplying heat, all of that. Because the health of your hair is more important than your hair looking straight. I mean, don't panic too much as long as you take care of your hair regularly, your hair will be strong enough to bounce back. So like weekly deep condition, washing your hair weekly, having a weekly schedule for your curls, your hair will come back. Staying consistent, your hair grows, your hair is curly, your hair looks healthy, your hair is like more manageable and you can leave it down. Like I've used so many hair products that I know which are my OGs, you know, the OG hair products. And I'm gonna show you, it's time to wash it. I'm gonna do a little quick prayer before washing my hair. Lord Jesus, please be with my curls, help it to come back, help it to bounce back better than ever. And this year, in Jesus' name, amen. For 2023, I already chopped off the ends. Not chopped off, like trimmed the ends. So it just feels like a new start. If you want like a fresh start, trim your ends and see how your hair grows from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. That's what I'm doing. If you want to join me, I'm going to be posting things that I do with my hair, the health of my hair, good products I'll show you, good things I find. Oh, um, I find. The best deep conditioner, the best oil, all of that. I'm going to tell you in details because I don't get keep. Okay, we're going to grow our hair together the next year. The health of our hair is going to be like, oh, let's go wash our hair. Our hair, basically it's our hair. This is a different position. I just put you guys on my shower caddy. What I'm going to use is Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening Shampoo. I've been using this for years. The best thing to use this for is like, since I'm washing it from Silk Press, it's gonna moisturize my hair. It won't strip anything. So right now my hair is like in a very vulnerable position. So it's like to put as much moisture, everything for the curls to come back. So I'm gonna use this twice. That's one thing. The first time is gonna be like, oh, my curls are not coming back. And then the second time, my curls will come back. That's literally always what happens. Since my scalp is dry and flaky and snow, snow flaky, all of that, I'm gonna use this scalp cleaner. It doesn't vibrate. I had one that vibrates, but it was too old, so it was thrown away. And so this is like kind of rubbery, so it's not really like hurting my head. And it's really good to like wash the scalp, especially if you have like long nails that you can't really like go into it and like get everything. The bristles are like kind of like rubbery, so kind of bend. So I'm gonna use this for with my shampoo. Then for my conditioner, I'm gonna use a little bit of your Not Your Mother's, because as you can see, almost now, this conditioner, I always suggest it to people. Also, the next thing I'm gonna use is the same line deep conditioner, the matcha green tea and apple bloom, not your mother's deep conditioner. First of all, this is very affordable. It's like $8.99. I always get this, and when I say I have, I have not used a better deep conditioner than this, I always tell people, get this. I don't know about the shampoo, I've never used it. This, this, the black, Jamaican black castor oil is my favorite shampoo. It's like the OG, like I can have a million different hair products in my shower, but I'll always have these OGs because it's just, it always has worked for me. Grown my hair, clean my hair, moisturize my hair. So I'm gonna finish off with this, leave this for about five minutes to detangle my hair. Let me find it, cause this. So this is actually the Love Your Curls brush. When I say this makes your curls define, 
This was actually for a sponsorship, but when I say I love this brush, and I'm being genuine, like, I don't think I've, I'm actually gonna brush it now, but I don't think I've ever used a brush that was this soft on my hair. It doesn't break my hair. It doesn't even have, like, the balls at the end of the, the brush thing. This really detangles without, like, doing anything to your hair, like, ripping your hair out or, like, making your hair frizzy. If you go on my TikTok, I actually did like a sponsored video for them my hair was straight when i was watching it and i was like wow i this really made my curls look popping it looked juicy shiny like especially when i was brushing and taking it out those are my curls i'm actually gonna start with warm water but like not hot because your hair already has a lot of heat i'm just gonna start with like warm to hot water let it rinse for a little bit and just immediately put the shampoo, lather, and just keep working. My scalp is ready. It's it's dry, first of all, because of the cold air. Second, it's flaky because I have not put oil, touched it, none of that in three weeks. I like to use this one because it goes straight to my scalp. It helps the water get to my roots. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm ready. And I kind of like scrunch it just to like get to make it easier because if you see the curls are coming back. So I like scrunch it. I don't know if it helps, but like it gives me comfort. Yay, my curls are coming back. Not that I doubt it, but you know what I mean? You just get a little nervous. One thing I will say is like it's very, I can tell it's shorter. Like, but my curls feel very bouncy and the ends feel springy. It's like healthier, but shorter. But you know what? We'll grow that back. We'll grow it back. This makes it so much easier for me. For me, it just helps me get to my roots. My roots were screaming for some type of moisture. That straight hair was getting stale. One of my pet peeves is that burnt hair smell. Like I smell it right now. But like after you wash your hair and you, after you straighten your hair and you wash your hair, it just, hello, it just smells like it's burnt. I don't, I don't know, like that. I'm gonna section it in smaller pieces and then go in and wash it all over again. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this and then I'm just gonna find another conditioner that I can find, to be honest, cause this is not enough. Hey new ends, we love healthy ends. So I'm gonna use this, it's the same brand as this. They make magic products cause I'm so glad they found me. I like promoting things that like I actually like. At the beginning though, like I got too excited and I would like accept everything. Like, yes, I'll work with you, yes, I'll... And then I started finding out like not all products are just not it. And you can even tell. Do you see the brush? It like brushes it from the roots, takes every knot. It's definitely shorter, but it just feels healthier. Like, do you see the curl? Just ah! look at the bounce, look at the bounce. Bounce! <laughs> so I'm gonna detangle this side and then deep condition. I'm excited to deep condition my hair. No, cause I really miss my curls. Now I'm gonna rinse it with cold water. I was planning to go over it with shampoo one more time, but I'm planning to wash my hair Sunday. Today's Thursday, but Sunday um, I'm gonna do a clarifying. So I'm going with this deep conditioner because the best deep conditioner it moisturizes my hair But not only that it smells so good It kind of covers up that like burnt hair smell after you soak press or like blow dry hair or anything like that Like I hate that iron straightening silk press after smell. So that's why I like this And I'm gonna leave this in for about five minutes also through the shower because the steam like really helps it So I'm gonna leave that in and I'm gonna put a lot because I need this to marinate I'm also gonna wear a shower cap to heat it, but also like prevent it. Like while I wash my hair, the conditioner will be going down my back and like causing back acne, all of that. After I put the leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna wash it with cold water. Like I'm not trying to put too much products now. I'm just kind of like put cream on it, a little bit of oil. The curls are back and. And I'm just gonna leave it like this five to ten minutes and I'm gonna charge my camera battery because about to die I need to figure out a situation for this. I wash my hair. My hair feels I, 
I feel good. First of all, that shower hit different. My curls are back healthy. My ends feel way healthier and it looks like bounced up. Like as I mentioned, it's like it looks like that spring when it bounces up. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna leave my hair out. That burnt hair smell is totally gone. When I say that not your mother's takes out that burnt hair smell, especially the deep conditioner. I left the deep conditioner for like a little bit longer. It was like 10 minutes. Took it out, that burnt hair smell gone now i'm trying to figure out what deep conditioner i should use there's this one i don't really like this one but it old is i'm trying to find oils like my sister my younger sister she's also she has this castor oil she's also really like into hair and curly hair care so she has a lot of like oils and stuff so when i come home we kind of like trade things off my hair's kind of wet it's kind of not wet i don't like putting oh my goodness my hair looks so much healthier when i say cut your ends It'll make the biggest difference. Um, if your hair is short now, later on, it will grow healthier, especially if you keep up with cutting your ends. I am very satisfied with the cut, and my younger sister actually did it, the one who loves curly hair. I thought it was gonna be too short, but I think it was needed. I don't even know where my spray. By the way, if you're wondering, I did not go to Virginia Tech. I went to VCU, I just graduated from Virginia Commonwealth University. The sweatshirt is my little sister. She goes there. The other twin. It's after grad life. Mostly like focusing on social media. Um, it's it's coming up for me, thank God. I just hope like this next year, I'm just gonna put castor oil. Cream and oil does something because I know oil by itself doesn't fully do anything. The smell smells okay. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was saying this next year, I really want to focus on YouTube, like putting more effort. I don't have school anymore. Do better at editing, have fun while editing. I used to love editing. Like, that used to be the highlight of my week. And then it slowly became like, you know, a chore. And then this past semester, as I mentioned again, life and school and graduating and Everything past semester like no effort actually if I'm gonna be honest this past year and a half like not that much effort on YouTube But like I really want to make this a priority and yeah I think I'm gonna put a curl cream because it's starting to feel like tull, 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 And I don't like this. This is the curl enhancing smoothie my favorite. I'm gonna put a little And I just want it to be to feel moisturized. Yeah, my hair needs all the love right now, especially not doing anything to it for three weeks. But my hair needed that break, or like me, I needed that break. I'm also gonna buy that. I'm gonna find that rosemary oil because I can't everywhere sold out. Put that on regularly, like even at nighttime. It's just I don't really like the smell, if I'm gonna be honest with you. That rosemary smell like on your hair. But yeah, I wanna be more active on this too. On TikTok, it's so fun because it's like a small community I have. And it's so fun because like we're all helping each other. Getting a little lazy, I'm mixing the curl cream and the leave-in. But you know what, it'll do. I'm not leaving my hair out, so. Okay, so I'm done. Um, what am I gonna put in a, I'm gonna put in a bun. I just don't have time for like to dry. My hair dries, it takes a long time to dry. This year, my plan is to grow it as much as I can, like every year. Find new ways to show you guys too. If you have your favorite products, let me know so that I can like bot, like, you know, I can try it too. To see if it works for me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But like, at least you suggested it to me, right? But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm done. Come again.